This question deals with the ISLM model, which I presented graphically here. There's the IS curve, the LM curve. What was expected of you is to identify the exogenous and endogenous variables in this model, and you had to write down the behavioral equations that applies to this model. Yeah, I put this equation. It comes from the textbook and the study guide. It might look slightly a bit different, and I'm going to change it a bit. You later will see what's the reason for that. And then you have to also show the causality between these variables. So let's start off and look at the diagram where we have these two variables, interest rate and output. Now these are our endogenous variables. These are the things that we want to explain, the values of the interest rate and the level of output. Our exogenous variables... is those variables that have an impact on the endogenous variables, but the endogenous variables does not impact on the exogenous variable. And now, if you go back to your behavioral equations, we can now see, in terms of the household behavior, that this represents one of our exogenous variables, that's autonomous consumption. It does influence the level of output, but the level of output does not influence the autonomous component. If you go to this part of the consumption function, which is your marginal propensity to consume, this again is also an exogenous component. Usually we just take that value as given. And that value doesn't change because there's a change in output and interest rates. But this one we can see, as output changes in the economy, there will be a change in consumption spending, and that is a positive relationship. So from this you can see that this function has both an exogenous and an endogenous component. Moving to investment, we know that between investment and the level of output there is a positive relationship. And between investment and the interest rate, there is a negative relationship. What we can add here is autonomous investment. That will be investment spending that is determined by other factors apart from the level of output and the interest rate. These can be things like uh, the levels of confidence, expectations, regulations, and so on. Then... Government spending throughout this model we take as an exogenous or autonomous variable. And its, its value does not depend on the value of output or the interest rate. But it does have an impact on the interest rate and the level of output. The same with taxation, which is regarded as exogenous in this particular model. We also assume that the money supply is fixed by the central bank which is an exogenous factor in the model. And then when we go to the demand for money, it becomes endogenous because it's a positive function of the level of output and the negative function of the interest rate.